What's up? Um, so I've been working on a little Python script, a uh, little app um, that connects the Discord API to the Challenge API. Um, this should help people who run tournaments in Discord uh, just run them a bit smoother, and uh, it should help uh, participants of the tournament um, understand where they are in the bracket and who they have to play um, a bit faster without having to flip back and forth between the website, Discord, TOs telling them what to do, etc. Um, so this is just a supplemental tool uh, for TOs um, that run stuff on Discord. Uh, so I'll just give a little example here. So I have the app running currently. Um, it's connected to Discord. Um, so on the left here, I have a 32-person tournament uh, just filled out with dummy names. Uh, the tournament started, and I have the Discord server that the bot is currently um, targeting. Uh, so you can see tournament tour is online. That's just what I called it. So the first command we'll do is to set the tournament that um, uh, we want the bot to, to monitor. So you do that by just uh, this uh, dollar sign set space and then the URL that you've set when you created the tournament. So in that case, it's Aki bots. Um, so I'm going to set the tournament and it grabs the title of the tournament, Aki bot test tournament. And you can see we verify that is correct. So it is looking at the correct tournament. Um, so the first command would be uh, if we type status, this is available to everyone on the server. Um, any participant or any user in the chat can type this and the bot will go and grab all of the open matches, all of the upcoming matches, and uh, if we have configured it, uh, stream matches. Um, I'll get to how that works later, but for now, uh, you can see current matches. It lists all 16 matches here, and it shows them in kind of a nice format. And uh, at any time, you can just type this and just get the current ones, right? Um, if we were to advance this by one, and then type it again, now we have two upcoming matches, right? Because I'm waiting uh, here. So it says Zach123 versus who knows, winners round two. Um, and then 32 what got sent to losers, and he's waiting in losers round one, which is correct. Um, the third command would be dollar sign monitor. So this is uh, admin only, but uh, so, so what this does is it uh, monitors the tournament uh, every 15 seconds it'll go out and grab uh, the data on the tournament on the open matches um, if it finds an update it will list it here so um, you can see if we give Joseph a win here it should say that there's a new upcoming match or there's a new current match Zach123 versus Joseph it will pop up right here There we go. So Zach on Tuesday versus Joseph is a new match. And because we gave uh, Lennon a match down here with 32, it shows here correctly. Um, and if we were to advance these guys, 32 has a new upcoming match. Doesn't know who he's against yet. Uh, so that'd be the loser of 32. So let's advance these guys. And it's giving us updates every 15 seconds, right? So then let's give uh, 32 an opponent. And now there's a new current match. Eleanor versus 32. 27 versus Elena. Both in losers. New upcoming match. Versus Lisa. Winners round three. And... Uh, I hope you can see how this might help um, TOs manage their, their tournaments. Um, that's really it for now. Uh, working on a bunch of features, uh, one of them being stream matches. So that's um, going to let you configure uh, a stream match to be set. Um, and that can either be by the highest seeds. So like we'll add up the seeds and whatever the lowest sum of seeds are for, per match. We would assign that match to a stream and uh, um, tell the users to go there. Um, but yeah, that's that's really it. Um, if you have any suggestions or want to contribute to the code base, you're welcome to. Um, I, I want to find a better way to format this info, but I think for now it works. Um, 
cool. Yeah, just wanted to show it off. Thanks.